Hi, I'm KDNJ Station Manager Joe Fall. Thank you so much for volunteering and helping us out during our share -a You are really the vital link between the folks on air that are asking for donations and the listener that picks up the phone and calls. Now, many people who call are going to be old friends of the radio station, but there are going to be some people who call that this is the first time they've ever called KBNJ for any reason. And so you have that unique opportunity to make a good first impression. So with that in mind, we'd like for you to remember, first of all, to be professional. Uh, speak slowly, uh, fill out the form carefully. Also, be friendly. We want them to hear the smile in your voice. And we want them to know how much we appreciate the fact that they called and were willing to give to the radio station. And also, be sensitive to what the listener might be wanting to share. Uh, some of them are going to be in a hurry, and they just want to make their pledge to KBNJ and get on with a busy day. But some may want to talk. They may have a burden to share. They may need someone to pray with them. Uh, make sure that they know that they're not just a donor, but that we really do care about who they are and where they are spiritually. Now, as a volunteer, we want to make sure that you make the most of your time here at KBNJ, and we also want to make sure that you make the most impact within that time. So we're going to show you a few basics. Now this is the most common form that you're going to use throughout the Arathon, and whether it's this form or the other two that we're going to talk about, it's important that you write legibly and use a number two pencil. That way if there's a mistake, you can easily erase and write the correct information. But what happens is that we have so many accounts in Donor Perfect, we want to make sure that the donor is updated in our system. So it's very important that you get as much information from them as you possibly can, as you can see throughout the highlighted areas. Now these are very important to fill out and be as thorough with these as possible. So spell back all names, even if it's a commonly used name, addresses and emails, make sure that you use those, and no abbreviations unless it's for Corpus Christi. Now if they are living in an apartment or a house number, make sure that you get that as well in the address section. Now on the form there is a uh, two sections marked total amount of faith promise. This is not talking about how much they're making per month, but what you want to do is add up the total and tell them what the faith promise is over the next six months. For example, if they say, I'm going to do a $10 a month faith promise, their total is going to be $60. And if you're not very confident with your math, don't worry, we have scratch paper and calculators that will help us figure that out. Now the bottom box is for the business office only, so you don't have to worry about filling this out. Now there is an exception to where you can actually put notes down, such as if they're calling to do a credit card, a donation, a continued uh, electronic funds transfer, you can write that in the comments section, but that's the only part of that box that you get to touch. Now, one important thing to note is that if a listener says that they're going to make their faith promise via credit card, take that information over to either the business manager or one of the appropriate representatives of KBNJ. Again, if a listener says that they are going to make their faith promise via a credit card, that needs to go to the business office immediately. Now, on the right side of the form is for studio information. You'll get the listener's name, or if they want to remain anonymous, write that down. You can also put down what city they're from, the total amount, which again is the total over the next six months. Uh, write if this is a increase to a previous pledge, meaning this share -a only. For example, if they made a $60 faith promise but call later and say, hey, I want to upgrade it to $120, you mark yes on that box. You also note if they're a first-time giver, they're also welcome to share a praise report or a testimony, but we want to keep those as brief as possible. Now, there are going to be occasions where KBNJ listeners are not going to go to the phone during share -a to make their faith promise, but they're going to go to us, and that's real simple to handle. See, they're going to walk in just like this, and then when they walk in, they're going to say, I want to make a faith promise, and then that's when you fill out a receipt. You also take their faith promise down if you went over the phone. You fill out a receipt, and the receipt book will be located in the front desk. If it's not there, ask one of the staff members to help you out. Give the donor the white copy once they've made their payment, and then you're all set. Now the next form that we're going to talk about is day and or web sponsor forms. It's a yellow form. It's very similar to the white forms we talked about earlier. The only difference is that there is a section that asks the listener on when they would like to run their day and or web sponsor. Now for the day sponsors, it's mostly used for special occasions such as birthdays, anniversaries. Sometimes uh, someone can give it to a local business or a church and they can commemorate that business or share information about it 
on that day. Now, web sponsors, of course, go on our website, kvnj.org. The transfer information is very simple. If you're writing on a white form, you simply just take it and you transfer it over to the yellow form. And if they request more than one day sponsor, you fill out one per day. And the day sponsors also go on a first come, first serve basis, so you'll have to check with the day sponsor calendar to make sure that their requested days are available. If not, just simply work with them to get days that they can work with. The last form that we're going to talk about is going to take us back a little ways to the white form that we filled out earlier. Underneath the total faith promise is a checkbox that says check if day sponsored giveaway. Here's the scenario that's going to happen to where you check that box is if they make a faith promise of $330 or more, they say, hey, I want to make this a day sponsor, but I want to give it back to the listeners. So what will usually happen is that that day sponsor will be split in half, they pay half price for two day sponsors, and then the listeners will then have to pay for the other half. And that will bring us to the green form, aka the half price day sponsor form. Now when you're filling that out, you're going to fill out the white form regardless, but then you're going to notify the KBNJ Studios, and then they're going to pull these forms right here. Now these are a bit more rare around here at KBNJ, especially during share -a time, because they will only come from the KBNJ Studios. So if you get a call from someone saying, hey, I want to request a half price day sponsor because they heard it on the air, you let the studio know and then they bring the form to you. Thanks for supporting the ministry of KBNJ. You will be receiving a confirmation letter of your gift in the mail in about two weeks. And thanks again for your support. Uh-huh. Bye-bye. See? It's that simple. So once again, thank you so much for being part of KBNJ share -a We appreciate it.